Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will understand the use of group by clause in SQL. Okay, so let's take output of some SQL query as following. So consider this is the output of some SQL query and now if you see here we have five rows and these we have five rows with attribute ID name and year okay now let's say there is a case that I want to display the user's data or this data where I want to group this data by year it means what I want is I want to display this 2005 and 2005 together whereas this 2007 and this 2007 together and this 2001 separately okay so basically I want to group this data on the basis of attribute year okay so this is where we need to use this group by clause okay so by default this is the output we get and when we use group by clause our data will be grouped according to the attribute which we choose so here I have listed down some important points and the first one is like we already discussed so group by is used to group the data okay group the data on the basis of certain criteria certain attribute okay so we basically partition the set of tuples into groups based on certain criteria right and group are formed on the basis of some attribute for example here we, are, we were trying to form group on the basis of this year year attribute okay now what if when we apply aggregate functions with group by okay so what happens this is very useful also when we apply aggregate function with group by Aggreg aggregate functions are calculated for each group okay so let's say we have a group group by year then we have a group of year 2005 this row and this record right and then if we try to find out what is the max of id then it will return 5 okay so for a particular group it will perform the aggregation okay now let's see an example so here we have table employee in which we have attribute EID name year of joining department and salary so the query is determine the maximum salary of employee in each department okay you have to notice here it is asking for the maximum salary okay but in each department right so department wise maximum salary so it is obvious now you can see we have to group data according to department okay and then we have to find out the maximum salary right and we have already learned that this aggregate function are calculated on each group okay for each group so what we will do we will write select department and max of salary from employee table from employee which is our table name and group by department okay so it will list down the department name and the maximum salary any employee is getting from that particular department okay so I hope now you understand the concept of group by now in the next uh, lecture we will do an illustration we will uh, solve some problem or query we will write some query and we will directly run it on terminal to see the result so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching